Welcome everybody, I'm John Zadar and this is March 19th. It is the weekend. You're watching On Top and Hot. And before we jump into this, I want to tell you folks that this is going to be the last video over here at Stocks Wizard. You might be watching this on Penny Boys. This is where they are going to be from now on. They did spin me out, but they missed me. They're bringing me back home, folks. Truth of the matter is, it was really screwing up the algorithms on Google YouTube. So we are bringing me back over to Penny Boys. I appreciate you guys following me, and I apologize that I keep bouncing around, but I am going to put these up. Remember, Zadar is always a keyword. Z-I-D-A-R. You're going to find my videos wherever they are, but I will be over at Penny Boys from now on. Thanks, folks, and I apologize. So today we are taking a look at a company that is under the radar, has been silent for a while, has gone through some changes, and now I see them as coming out of the darkness and into the game. I think it's an early time to catch them. I think they're at a perfect price to catch them, and they just had some news which really got a lot of excitement going. And we can use some of that on the OTC. So let me show you what I got for you today. All righty, let's get this party started. We are looking at ticker ALST. This is All Star Health Brand Zinc. And yes, yes, we are over here at the OTCMarkets.com website. Folks, I'm going to be honest, I don't do my initial due diligence on OTC stocks anywhere else. I never do a Google search first. Google gives me a lot of old information, and I only want one current piece of information. Why create all that extra work for myself sorting through it? I just come over here to the otcmarkets.com website. FINRA and the SEC update this site every day for OTC stocks. Why make it difficult on yourself? Come to the only place it's updated every day, otcmarkets.com website. So we are looking at ALST, finished the day at a tremendous price. Oh my God, 0.011. Folks, I love to buy on the ones, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, because as soon as it goes to two, the very next number, you've doubled your money. Hits three, you've tripled your money just that fast. If you were to buy this at 0 0.03, you'd have to go all the way to six to double and nine to triple. Isn't it a lot shorter to go from one to three than three to nine? Heck yeah, it is. They had a great gain of almost 70%. They're on the pink tier and current. They got a verified profile and a transfer agent. That's good. We want to see these green ticks over here. And they are being considered a shell risk. Now, a shell risk is a company that is supposed to be reporting revenues, but they're not. So since they brought it up, let's go take a look at their revenues. On the annual, we can see they were making some pretty decent money in 2020, about a quarter million dollars. They were really focused in on COVID during that period, as the news is going to show. Then came 2021, not a lot of money. We've got to add those three zeros behind here. So that was $19,000 for the end of 2021. But they were having some management issues. Again, this is revealed in the news. But now, for 2022, Things are changed. They've got products on the market. They've got deals they've made. So they're about ready to start making money. Now, the reason I really started looking at this company was because of how many trades they had. Right here at the OTC market, if you come over here to current market and click this, it'll bring you to this page basically. And they will show you how much money is poured into that company in investments today. How many shares of uh, stock they sold but they also show you how many trades. Now you can see over here, this is for the whole day of Friday. Five, one, three. Not a lot of trades in these companies, is there? But look at ALST, 1,183 trades. Now we got another company here, Misto, MSTO at 1,568 trades. These are the companies you want to be paying attention to. This one down here for 262. Heck yeah. Look, I equate the trades with people. Now, I don't presume that there is 1,183 people trading oust, but I do believe there's hundreds of people trading it. And where there are hundreds of people, you're going to get a lot of activity, a lot of action. Buy, 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 sell, buy, sell. You know, picture the Wall Street trading floor. That's what you're getting here. So that drew my attention to the company. So what does this company do? 
Well, they're into selling health products. As they tell us here, All Star Health Brands Inc. is a specialty healthcare products company dedicated to improving health and quality of life across several therapeutic areas. Initial focus is to acquire revenue producing companies in the natural supplements field and currently we are operating in limited geographical regions of the U.S. But we are adding new novel products to the mix and expanding our sales from the regional base to across major population centers in the U.S. All Star's goal is to acquire the licenses for new and novel products and manufacture and brand them under the All Star brand, which is exactly what they are doing. And jumping over to their website, you get a better idea of the products that they are selling. Now, this is not a complete list. They really do need to update their website. They're adding more and more products a little faster than they're keeping up. But you can see they've got some products here that they're selling, everything from UV protection to skin enrichment. But what they've really been focusing on for the last couple of years is COVID. They started off at the beginning of the year of 2020 selling COVID kits and then got this great idea to create these mobile labs, these quick labs. They're kiosks on wheels that they can just take to any parking lot. And what it is, it's a drive up service just like McDonald's, except faster. I'm not kidding. You come here with your tests and they give you the results right there at the window. I think, and I may be wrong, but I think they can even give you the test right there and they can give you the results while you wait faster than it takes to get a cheeseburger at McDonald's. Then they went and got a secondary product called Sani Quick. This is a 15 second sanitizing machine. It goes at the entrances of anything, a concert, a ball game, could be inside a grocery store, an airport, wherever. 15 seconds, you are sanitized. And then they've got a mobile app which takes all of the diagnostic information and houses it so that when you go to your employer, and your employer says, are you safe? You can give him the code so that he can see the information now and he can check out and see that you have passed and you are clear. So this is what they're working on and this is a big, big part of what they're doing. And as long as COVID is still active, I'm sure they're gonna continue doing this. Now, if you recall, I just showed you that this company has done 1,183 trades in one day. That's a ton of trades, folks. That's a lot of excitement from a lot of people. There had to be good cause, and there was. There was news today, unique news. It was different. This isn't the kind of news this company normally puts out, but it caused a lot of excitement. We can see over here by the volume that they went from 1.6 million to almost 39 million. But that really isn't the truth. It isn't the clear picture. This is Sunday morning that I'm making this video for you. But this stock was trading on Friday. They have already changed the monthly average. When I looked at this originally, at the end of Friday, this was 404,000 shares a day, under a half a million. That made this 96 times her normal volume. Right now, it looks like about 20 times. Folks, it was 96 times her normal volume. So let's not overlook that. She was moving a ton of shares. Speaking of share count, what do we got in the float over here? Not too bad. Really, folks, 61 million shares in the float is not bad. I know, we like to find these 5 million, 10 million floats. Those are great, but those are super duper low floats. This is just your everyday average legitimate low float stock. Seriously, anything under 100 million should be considered a low float. Financials, we've already looked at that, so we know what's going on there. And disclosures, I don't believe you're going to see anything here. Their financials are current, of course, and they have no new SEC filings. So let's just jump over to the news and see what's going on over here. Now, they do have a lot of news. We're not going to go through it all, I promise you. What you see on my screen right now is 20 pieces of news out of 130. But we're already back to 2016, so there's no reason to go any further back. And truth of the matter is, we're not even going to read what I got highlighted here. I've just done this to bring it to your attention. We're looking at April of 2020, 
till October of 2020. And all of these things highlighted and stuff that's not highlighted is all about COVID-19. They were tearing it up. They were selling COVID-19 rapid antibody tests, making good money. They were creating uh, distribution channels outside of the country to Peru, inside the country to Florida. They were getting deals to buy more, distribute more. They were putting out their portable med labs and their sanitization machines. So, I mean, they were just on the go, kicking butt, making money. They were up to $300,000 in 2020, and then it disappeared. 2021, we're down to $19,000. How can that be? COVID didn't go anywhere, probably got worse. So what happened? Well, when we look at the news here, there is a big period of silence from October of 2020 till August of 2021. And the first piece of news we get is that they're booting the old CEO. Now, I don't know. They didn't give us any real information, bad or good. They just said the old CEO is leaving and the CFO of the company is stepping into the CEO position. And that was it. But I've got to imagine when all the revenues fall and the CEO goes, you guys had problems. But this guy seems to be on the ball and getting things taken care of immediately. This came out August 5th and August 19th, they had another piece of news come out. Well, the first piece of news in a long time. All Star Health announces implementation of distribution and sales of Gold River products, beginning with their Dr. Bond's gummy line. All Star Health Brands and Gold River Productions Inc. announced the formation of a partnership in a new venture in distribution. Like I said, they've got new products coming up. We are excited about the launch of Gold River's products and to be the first in line to purchase GRP's products. First mover advantage. I think they are literally saying they are the first. We have a number of distributors anxiously awaiting their products. Dr. Bond's Gummy Line. Sleepy Watermelon, Relief Raspberry, and Calming Mango. This is a game changer for the CBD industry. Gold River has created a high-grade formulation that targets specific consumer issues. We have not seen any formulation like this. That's saying something considering how many CBD gummies are out there right now. There's a lot of them. We've tried them, tested them, sampled them, and the results are very supportive. This isn't your average CBD gummy, not by a long shot. Our initial distribution will be in Jamaica and Florida. Now that we have a product, we will be engaging in larger distribution channels, including the United States, Mexico, and Canada, as well as the adjacent islands. But what intrigues us the most about Gold River is their product line, which is unique, high-end, and in our opinion, a fresh and new in the nutraceutical world. It will set the gold standard. So they've got this new product on top of their other products. The next piece of news came out two months later, Gold River Productions Inc. to begin distribution in the Caribbean, the US and Canada. So they're not wasting any time getting this stuff out there. And if they keep moving at this pace, they should be bringing in the revenues again. Though I would like to hear what's going on with their COVID. I gotta be honest about that. Then we have the last piece of news that came out on Friday, completely different than any piece of news they've ever had. All Star signs LOI to acquire 25% of Metaverse technology company Advent Galaxy Inc. So in today's news, what they told us was that they have already signed a letter of intent to acquire 25% of Advent Galaxy Inc. Now this is a subdivision of TGI Solar Power Group. This is another OTC company, ticker TSPG. They go on to say, we are excited about this opportunity to expand into new technologies, including the metaverse and virtual and augmented realities. Advent Galaxy has already made important strides in this arena, and we look forward to partnering with them and helping to build that success out. Now, they tell us that Advent Galaxy, a division of TGI, announced earlier this month that they had begun development work on the augmented reality and virtual reality Advent Mega Mall Metaverse Project, which will feature a native NFT gallery powered by Roomful.net, an advanced 3D multiverse platform for metaverse and alternative digital realities. Now, let's take a look at these two companies. Roomful.net, this is a company that sets you up in the metaverse when you don't know how. 
Remember when the internet got going, everybody wanted to be on the internet, but getting a website was a little bit tricky in the beginning. So all these sites popped up that had templates. You could pick from a thousand different templates, put in your pictures, put in your words, and voila, you had web presence. It was your site and you were online. Well, that's what Room full does they have all these templates for the metaverse so all you got to do is pick one and set things up the way you want it and voila you're on the metaverse just that quick and since it's a mega mall this is going to be a place for people to make money just plug in now TGI Solar this is an interesting company because they're not really into virtual property they're into real property they are creating this what, what do they call it an advent city down in Yucatan, Mexico. They've already got 700 villas, 120 garden apartments, shopping centers, entertainment centers. So they got lots of real property and now they're moving into virtual property. And this company has 25% of them and they can get another 25% in the next two years and they have 50% of this company. So they've got a lot going on now, virtual reality, augmented reality, a metaverse mall, they've got CBD gummies, they've got these skin products for uh, sun protection and skin enrichment but they've also got all that COVID going on which we really haven't heard a lot more about I've got to presume it's still going on so maybe maybe we'll get some more news about that so let's go check out that chart and see what opportunities await for us there no surprises here we are starting off in a six month four hour chart this is ALST and we're doing our charting on thinkorswim it's a free trading platform so if you haven't got one or you're just tired of using your neighbors just mosey on over to TD Ameritrade sign up for a free account with them they're not gonna bug you for any money and you don't even actually have to trade with them just keep your account open and you can use TOS too now there's a lot of interesting things about this chart First thing I notice is their high bubble. High bubble is at five cents. Low bubble is at double zero six two. But take a peek here. We go back one year, the high bubble is 10 cents. So it's been falling the entire year, except for that big jump right there. And it lost 100% getting to here. But all the way down to there, that is almost 1500% drop. Now let's take a look at a few other characteristics of this chart that I really like. This jump, it's the only time it broke through the 200 and that's a huge jump. That's 350% on a 67 million float, right? Now what's most curious about this is that this happened September 21st, 2021. There's no news. Nothing we can see happened on that date. We only saw two pieces of news. Both were in August. The CEO stepping down and being replaced and the CBD gummies. That was it. So what's that all about? Haven't got a clue. What I do see is that right there, that's the ceiling. That volume spike is much bigger than all of these other spikes. And once that volume spike came in, boom. But look at this. Look at the volume spike today. Look where it goes to. Holy cow, right? That is humongous. And at its major gap between the low and the high, there was about 450% gains on this today. I'm gonna get rid of these lines so they don't confuse us because I'm gonna be drawing a few other lines here. Let's come in on that 20 day, one hour view. Now that's pretty pathetic. There is nothing going on there. She is super low. She's under everything. There's our low bubble. And it wasn't until today's news about the metaverse that she decided to move. I guess metaverse is back in fashion. I don't know. But there's our huge giant jump early in the morning. And then she fell right to the 200. There it is, it just came into the picture. She was riding on the 50, there's the 200 now. She hit it twice, boom, boom, and bounced up just a little bit and is sitting on the 200 and is back at that one cent price. Perfect, that's perfect. She has now set a new high bubble showing a lot of interest in folks. That right there, 2.7, that is almost 300% gains, just getting back to that high bubble. Now look, this company's got a lot of things going on. You saw the products that they're not talking about right now, but you know they still got the skincare and the uh, COVID things going on. They just got into the metaverse and the CBD gummies. 
the new CEO has only been in office a few months, so I expect him to write us a letter, a shareholder letter from the CEO. And when he does, I expect the volume is going to come in just like the last two, and this thing is going to bounce. And at this price, you're going to make two, three, four, five hundred percent gains. Yes, that's the way I see it. Now let's come in on that five day, five minute. There's her high bubble. She hit uh, 0 0.027 at, uh, wow, look at that, 1030. Now I find that interesting because that is a serious fall. There's a cutoff right there. You can see it at 1030. Now for the longest time, the first hour of the day, I've always heard called fool's hour. Now they don't call it fool's hour because you're a fool to trade. They call it fool's hour because of exactly this. You can be fooled. This stock is rising, rising, rising for a full hour. It's like, I picked a winner. Yeah, can't go wrong. You go get yourself a coffee or breakfast, come back. What happened? Yeah, 10.30, it fell away. Now, I, a few months ago, noticed it had pulled back to 10 o'clock. Over and over and over again, I seen the market dip at 10, 10 10.05. So that's what you hear me tell you. I get out at 10, 10 10.05. I like to catch the gains early. Why wait? till after it dips and then lose 50% of your gains and have to fight and hope and cross your fingers that they come back. Just get used to taking gains early. Now I may have got out of this early today, not knowing it was gonna run to 1030. But the truth is, I read more than just the clock. There are lots of signals here for me to read and we had every signal in the world to know. When was the perfect time to exit this trade? Right there. I'm going to grab my blue line here so that you can see this. Right there is the perfect time to have gotten out of this trade. She hit a high bubble, right? We expect a pullback. So the first red bar should be no surprise. I always expect a pullback off of a high bubble. Then we add a second red bar. Two to three red bars is confirmation it's changing direction. But two is a little iffy. Two ain't very much. But it broke the 10 day SMA. We're watching everything here. Follow that blue line down with, with me, folks. What have we got right there? Dead center, a X, bad. The blue is crossing down under the yellow. That is a bad crossover. That is a negative sign. Stop, stop, stop. Go even further down. RSI has now broken the fire. Fire is out. It's come below the ceiling and look, it's underneath. We're out of the green. We're into the red. Right there, folks, was your sell sign. All hope out the window. Forget crossing your fingers. You're here to make money and you're not here to give it back. This is in your pocket right now. And from this low down here, triple zero six, if you had gotten in at that point, that is 400. If you'd gotten in a little later, okay, you got yourself about 270% gains. But look where they ended up. 70%. She came down. Now, what do you not see on this board, folks? You don't see a 200. No, there's no 200 on here. So the price is going to play to the 50. Why? Because that's the only SMA you and me, the investors, see. How can we play it to the 200? We make our decisions based on these. Many, many, many investors do. So it came down, crashed through the 20. Everyone started to think, well, it must be the 50. And you can see. It was riding the 50 up for a little while. Then came this 20 day SMA, knocked it off its balance and it started to fall. Now let's put the other factor that I use. I draw a line, nah, <laughs> we got another timeline. I don't want that thing. Let me get rid of this timeline here. Ta-da! And let's go back to our money lines. I like to draw a line at the bottom of a surge or a fall and the top of the surge or the fall. Then I find the middle. Now you can do it through math. You can take the bottom number, subtract it from the top, divide it in half, and then add it to that bottom number and see what you come up with. And then you have a line that I'm gonna draw here with my eyeball somewhere around there. That is an algorithm number. It's not just some magical number we came up with that might or might not work. It is a perfect average. There is the top, there is the bottom. You've done the math. That is the perfect center. The algorithm in the charting system is going to use that. You're going to see the price respect and reflect to that line, top or bottom. And then you're going to be able to split this in half 
and split this in half. They call this the Fibaracci tool. It, there's a lot of Fibaracci's that work on this premises. So we see that this stock took a huge surge and as I expect, it's gonna give away 50% of it. When it starts to fall, it's normally gonna give away half. That's why I get out early. Why give away half? Take it. So I would sell up here. Then, as I expect, it starts to fall down to the 50% mark of its gains. And I hope it's going to sit here. It can sit on the top or it can hang underneath. As long as it stays here, I'm confident that it wants to hold and grow. But we got to watch it, right? And here comes that 20, hit it upside its head, knocked it down under the 50 day SMA and under the 50% gain mark and went low. So right at this point, she doesn't look too good. And what's weird is that it looks like it's hanging in midair. And I always say, if it breaks a support and comes underneath, chances are it's not gonna just hang on underneath. It's normally gonna start falling further and further down. So one would expect this to come all the way down, right? It's just hanging in the air. Well, folks, don't get in the habit of only looking at one time frame. This here is an hour time frame. Okay, this is the same thing. Look, here it looks like it's sitting in midair, like it's got nowhere to go but down. But it isn't. I just put that yellow line there. Look, it's sitting on the 200 right now. It has a floor it's sitting on. So you got to get used to sometimes backing out and taking a bigger view and see if your price is sitting on something. And if it's not there, come in closer. Sometimes a magnifying glass works better than a telescope, but don't be afraid to look at it from different perspectives. That's going to give you the best risk management that you can have. So right now she's sitting on top of something, a very good price and a very strong support. And when she starts to climb, she's going to get 200% here, 300% and she's just going to climb. And I expect news. I expect her to come out with a press release on all their products about the metaverse, about the mega mall, about CBD uh, gummies going to this country and that state. I expect the CEO to give us a shareholder letter. And this is going a pop with the 67 million float we've already seen it move twice over 300 percent each time and we are down at that magic buy price right now let's come down to the five day five minute oh we're already there <laughs> scoot this over so i expect this to come back up to this point and move up further and further but it's going to depend on that pr folks it really is call it a crap shoot if you want but i think this ceo doesn't waste time he got new products he's into the metaverse he's really active so i expect him to want us to know what he's doing and who he is really so watch for that shareholder letter i'm going to expect this price to jump so where do we expect it to jump to? Well, folks, all you got to do is go back. And we just can't go back to the 20 day. There's nothing there to pull our supports and resistances off of. So we're going to have to go all the way back to four months. And you're going to look for spots where the price came up and stopped. You, you can see those there. Now, they're really, really small here. So I could come in and I can magnify these. Just zoom in on what you want to see and then I can even stretch them a little bit. And then you can put your line and now it doesn't have to be exact. We're not getting exact. Don't get stuck on exact folks. We're looking for general areas. You know if the beast is too close or if the woman's not close enough. We, that's what we're looking for. So I'm finding places. Now our price is clear up here at 1.1. One, one. So I want to look at stuff up top. So I see this right here. There's a lot of strength on this big tall one, that big bar sitting right here and it keeps going over. So I'm going to draw a line right there, right? You see it sitting there and you see them butting their heads up against it. So that becomes a resistance at a uh, dollar, a dollar <laughs> at 0 0.015. She's at 0 0.011. So that is about 40% gains right there. Then she goes up to her next resistance, a strong one. Uh, might be about right there right and that's at 80% uh, gains and then you've got a stronger one up here and that's going to take you to 220% gains now we've drawn our lines let's come in on the five day five minute so there they are now I know it looks confusing to you but zoom in on what you want to see right 
we are at the bottom right here it's going to come up and break this when it breaks this it should now start sitting on top of here and it'll just keep repeating that process and you follow that process and let the SMAs guide you along the way I'm gonna get rid of all these lines but you use those MMAs all of them please bingo use the SMAs to tell you what is going on folks remember multiple time frames really is the best way to trade so that you have a better understanding of what is happening with your price with your stock and where all the SMAs are sitting you will feel more secure I believe this stock is gonna make some money two three four five hundred percent gains we just need that shareholder letter to come out from the CEO or any real good piece of news we know she likes to bounce with 67 million shares ALST it belongs on your watch list now so do you see what I see in ALST she's a sleeper she's under the radar it's been quiet for a long time but we've got a new CEO he's doing things in a hurry only been there a few months and he's already into the metaverse and virtual reality with a mega mall they have bought 25 percent of another company that's big and they've got new products CBD gummies that actually do something right not to mention everything else and that's what I'm talking about he needs a shareholder letter to catch us all up on everything they got in the pot what are you doing and what can we expect and I think personally when that comes out this stock is going to have a poke of volume and that poke of volume is going to do exactly what it's done before it is going to put this stock into the hundreds of percent gains so you can grab yourself two three four five hundred percent gains on the next PR I'm thinking eight out of ten chance it's gonna happen folks but hey do your own DD I've shown you some but you know there's more and the more you know the more you're gonna grow see you folks